The world is a vampire. Hello and good morning Shafter High School and welcome back to HQTV Shafter High School's news source. I'm Jensen Boyd. And I'm Alexis Pickering and today is Monday, September 24th, I believe. Let's 20, say that. 24th. Yeah. yeah. And here's yeah. what's going on in our general community. But first, to kick off our show, we're going to go ahead and send it over to Monique so she can tell you a little bit about Pride. Good morning, General. So to start off the show, we're going to talk about Pride. Last week, we were all asked to be, to be respectful by listening in class. The following... Following through with our work and being mindful of our language, thank you for those who are asking us. Thank you for those around us. A quick shout out to, Jess, to Jesse Abernathy. Mr. Gavin said he is showing pride and determination by having fantastic grades in all his classes. Keep up the great work, Jesse. And to Brandy Wilson, Mr. Mrs. Smith says it, says it showed great enthusiasm to read aloud in class. Good job, Brandy, and to our awesome Miss, Mr. Sundridge. And Mr. Lewis notices, notices your work extra hard to make the school a better place, and you help when you don't have to. Thank you, Mr. Sundridge. Thank you, Mr. Sundridge, for making a difference at Shafter every day. And now for our pride moment of the week. The I in pride stands for integrity means to do the right thing even when no one is looking. Be honest, be genuine, celebrate our differences, and always accept responsibilities for your actions. Here are some ways to gain a reputation for being honest and showing integrity. Ask your teacher for academic policies in their classroom. Prepare thoroughly for assignments or exams so you're not tempted to cheat. Do not let any other, co do not let any other students copy from your exams or borrow your assignments that you have completed. And report <coughs> incidents of academic dishonesty to your teachers. This week we are looking for students who are competing and submitting their own work and by showing kindness and supporting one another. If you receive a golden ticket from one from a teacher for being called with pride, please comp complete the ticket and turn your ticket to the lock boxes in our five locations: the front office, ASB office, the library, dean's office, and the cafeteria. We still have a draw. We still we will have a drawing each Monday for all of those that receive a ticket. If your name is John, you get to choose a reward for the activities office. So go out and show some integrity for general. And I'm going to So, um, Anika Rulez, um, she's in grade nine. Jonathan Lopez is in grade nine. Elizabeth Ledesma in grade nine. Julia Montoya in grade nine. Sammy Escalavera in grade nine. Ali Hanner in grade nine. Fabruki Hernandez in grade nine. And Valerie Silva in grade 11. Now over to Alexis and Jensen. Oh, thank you, Monique. Um, beginning on Monday, September 24th, so today, all gates around campus will be locked at 758. The only entrance into school will be the, the main entrance, so please bet accordingly and get to school on time. Detention, you have five days to serve your detention. If you were late, and detention can be served during lunch through the dean's office, with trash pickup or after school in room 507 on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Um, students, at lunch in the cafeteria, we are encouraging you to use two trash cans with the signs to help dispose of our trash. One trash can is for organics, once again, items that break down. The, or the other can is for anything else like chip bags, plastic film, or forks. Um, the purpose of this separation or redirection is to apply, comply, not apply, comply with state laws to reduce our greenhouse gases, GHG for short, um, from our landfill. Shafter High students can lead the way to a clean and safe environment for many, many years. ASB and class officers plan on coming to the ASB room during lunch on Wednesday for the KCL, which is a current council of student leaders. A lunch meeting with our city leaders, key club members after a very close race. Your new club officers are President Annalisa, Annalisa, Tor Annalisa Torres, um, Vice President, P 
pres president, <laughs> Liliana Villa. Um, secretary slash treasurer is Joseph Fernandez, so congratulations to those. And in addition, if you'd like to sign up to help Shafter Youth Center for this Thursday, please see Mrs. Smith in room 502 at your earliest convenience to sign up. Students, if you're interested in visiting CSU Northridge on Friday, September 28th, get the information and forms you need in the counseling office or in the career center. And students, the bells are being worked on today and they may or may not ring, so please be mindful of your clock just in case they do not ring and make sure that you are out of class at the proper time so you can get to your next class at the proper time. <laughs> like that. Like that bell. But those are ringing, apparently, so just be mindful of the bells. Attention Shafter High Scholars, your opportunity to prepare for the SAT is just around the corner. Starting next week in the library from after school until 7.15, you'll meet Monday and Tuesday for two weeks with a mock SAT. That's the sign-up thing, Majiggy. The a schedule. Schedule. Uh, SAT at the Shafter <laughs> Learning Center on Saturday, September 29th. This SAT boot camp is especially important for seniors who are registered for the SAT on October 6th. So. See Mr. Weeby in room. 503 for more details on that. And homecoming. Congratulations to the homecoming king and queen. Um, Alex Aguilar was the king and Sitlali Leon was the queen. And congratulations to the freshmen for winning the float contest, even though the seniors was cooler. Um, and <laughs> yearbooks. Um, talk about yearbooks, Jensen. Uh, so hurry and reserve you those yearbooks, your yearbooks and stuff like that, mm -hmm. because they sell out very quickly every year. Yeah, they do. Uh, Every year they've sold out. Yeah. Uh, so pre-order right now for the lowest price of $75 and be guaranteed a book at the end of the year. And seniors, this is your last week to contact yeah. Steven Studios to make your appointments to get your senior pictures taken. So Steven Studios is located at 335 South Chester Avenue and their phone number is 661-832-9003. Once again, that's 661-832-9003. So hurry up and call them to reserve your spot. And October 12th is the deadline to purchase a senior ad for those seniors out there. Um, there are a few pages left, but they are going quickly. So sorry, but there will not be an extension on the October 12th deadline. And all students, don't forget to pre-order your yearbook. Prices will be going up October 1st. Um, you can order online at justins.com or pay at the finance offices on campus. Um, seniors, there will be a very important class meeting on Thursday at the beginning of second period in the auditorium. Um, there will be information concerning... Graduation, so you can't miss that because yeah. hopefully we're all graduating. Already? Yeah. Graduation? Yeah. CSF applications. Now is the time to pick up your application for CSF in the Career Center or in the Counseling Office. Complete the application and take it to your counselor. The deadline to apply is September 28th. The California Scholarship Federation, which is what CSF stands for once again, mm -hmm. is an organization whose mission is to recognize and encourage academic achievement and community service. Now over to Monique with sports. Thank mm -hmm. you. Da, 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 da. All wrestlers who have not picked up barbecue tickets to, to South see Coach Hill in room 610 ASC. Wow, that was a lot. Uh, <laughs> now over to Alexis and Jensen. Um, we're going to look. Mouthful. Yeah, I know. Too bad. Because of that barbecue. <laughs> yeah. So just make sure to turn your tickets and um, let's look at those upcoming events. So September 22nd was the homecoming dance. Um, today is the Soccer Boys Dad's Barbecue Fundraiser. The 26th, which is Wednesday, is a late start. The next day is the Senior Assembly, which is Thursday. And so, yeah, and then that's on that note. Have a great day, Generals, and tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HQTV. Shop to High School's News Source. Damn fun.